Alright guys, well let's do the direct manage CVP file real quick. Hopefully it doesn't last too long, but I'll do it real quick. So in the constructor call get the MD3 divide object and set that to null. Um and do the same thing for the other the other three, the the, the device and the sprite. Set both to null. And for the texture, the file name and in use, since it's uh, an array, then create a for loop. I is less than max textures. That's all capitals. I plus plus, or you could do I plus plus I. Doesn't matter. I heard that plus plus I is faster, which is reasonable. So you get the M texture. I. Oh, come on, get it. it takes a while. I did call it texture, right? Uh, let's see real quick. Or oh, textures, that's why. And I set the texture to null. Set the file name blank. It's just and and then you set it to false since they're not being used. Common sense. Inside the destructor, it's called the cleanup directx. We haven't worked on that file, but we will. Okay, for the first function we could be working on is the initialize directx. So let's call it real quick. Initialize directx. Inside here, Basically, this function was pretty explanatory for the title. I mean, the name of this function. It's just gonna initialize all the direct x stuff. So let's get the object m d three object and set that to a to a function that direct x already has. It's direct three d create nine. And set that to this include that uh, this directx SDK already includes. So it's just D3 D SDK version. And say if M if MD3 D object is null. Wait, hold on real quick. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm missing up here. MD3D object. If it's null, then just return false. And then we can, uh, have some presentation parameters that will be for the window that we can be seeing. So this D3D press present underscore parameters. They're all capitals, so make sure they're all capitals. And just call it press param for short. Zero zero it the memory out first before using it cut the reference of the press params and the size of that
And before, remember, I'm putting S off. Let's press that params with the S. Or, but it makes sense to be S in more than one. Okay, so we can uh, be calling the, uh, let's say, uh, the window. And set that to true. Press params swap effect. Set that to on D3D swap effect discard. Make sure you your call it right. And then after that, you're gonna be calling the H device window. And set that to the HWND. Next, you could be calling the back buffer format. And set that to D3D, wait, D3D, FMT, underscore, X eight R eight. They're gonna X. They're all capitals, so I make sure X eight R eight R A G eight and B eight. And all those represent the uh, the red, blue, and white. I mean white, red, red, green, and blue. Make sure you call the right too, so make sure don't want to misspell anything. And inside here, you can call the screen width, uh, how size, how big the screen is going to be. So it's the back buffer, back buffer width, and you can call it to the screen height. Well, you have included this, so just you will include the fine. I don't have it yet, but we'll we'll put it after this, and do the same thing for the for the height. And let's do it real quick before we forget. Max, I mean screen width. 1280 number define um, screen height make sure you spell it right too okay we have two more to go and this one's going to be the enabled auto dev Stencil. Set that to true. And the last one is going to be the auto death stencil format. And that's going to be the D3 FMT underscore D16. Um, but yeah, that's all we can use for the presentation parameters. I'm not going to go into depth what each one does, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what the back buffer width and height is. Um, but if you want to know, then just Google it, like I always say. I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, let's see. We, write, we, we can create the... We can create the uh, the device. So we just call in the H result. And it's called the HR, which equals the MD3 three object. 
object and and create this create device and it's the first parameter is going to be D3 adapter D3 adapter adapter underscore default the second parameters could be D3 D D E B type so D3 D def type underscore hall H A L the, the next one is going to be H W N D The next parameter is going to be D3D create underscore hardware underscore vertex processing and take the reference or press params and the reference of the device. And under it, say if the HR failed, if it failed, then just return um, Wait, hold on real quick Before I continue And if it failed, it's because sometimes um, some cars do not have hardware processing, and if it doesn't, then just go back to the software. So let's create, let's put the HR since I already created it up there, equals to the end D3D object. So let me just put it right here. If I mean, sometimes some hardware, sometimes car, um, video cars does not have, doesn't have vertex processing. So go back to software. Basically, just fall back to a software. And this could be create device again. And most of it is going to be the same, except for, I'll show you right now. Same way it says D3 hardware directors processing. It, it's going to be D3 create. Instead of hardware, it's going to be software. D3 software vertex processing and everything else be the same and if that fails as well if that fails then just return false oh. yeah basically first you can be creating if you don't really understand it is email me or PM me or whatever but some beer cars do not have vertex processing, the hardware. Hardware vertex processing. If it doesn't have it, then it just create a software vertex processing. And if that fails, then you just return false. Okay. Um
And then if it if it that if it actually doesn't fail, then just return true. Oh no, wait, that goes outside actually. This goes outside. Okay, and that's done with the initialize.